Space is Sims, and we are back with more Dairoku, and we just got attacked, and same we showed up with that sexy sprite! God damn it, motherfucker! Anyway, God, just need that sprite and a giant sticker I can slap on my wall, I love it! Anyway, no, 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 let's keep talking about it. But we're, so, then that all happened, and now we're here. Anyway, um, so, I, I, I cheated a little, um... We need to talk about this. <laughs> I scrolled them in the guide because I was like, we're in chapter six. Okay. And I was like, uh, you know, because normally I don't like to scroll up. I don't want to ruin, like, there's choices. You know what I mean? Because then you start speculating. Sometimes I scroll up by accident and I'm like, oh, and I can see the choice, but whatever. Anyway, there's no choices for the rest of this game. I don't think there were supposed to be any choices except for, like, a couple in that chapter four. But, um, well, choices in this route is what I meant. Not this game. You know what I meant. Anyway, uh, so we, there's only chapter seven. There was not eight chapters in this like there usually are in all the other routes. So we could potentially get the end of this a lot faster than I thought. I don't think we're going to get in this part, but maybe the next part, it really depends on how long chapter six and seven are. Um, and if we don't get out of chapter six in this part, then, you know, it might be longer, but we might only have like two or three parts left. And then we do the bad ending. Um, and the thing about that is, I don't have anything to play after this. <laughs> yeah. Budoshana is coming out at the end of June, but we will be done with this before that comes out. And you know I like to have a little bit of a buffer, so I'm not like, I just recorded two parts and I gotta put them up. Um, so I don't know what to do. Because, like, I don't want to start something else. And then that takes three or four months. You know what I mean? So, huh. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because, like, I don't know. We have other games on the Switch. We have Iris School of Wizardry, which is really fucking old. But it was one of the first games that was put on the Switch for Atome titles. When they were doing the whole thing. When Vita was still a thing before they killed that bitch. Um... So, yeah, I mean, and then I, I have a bunch of other ones, which I'm not 100% sure if we can record them because they might be Voltage titles. I don't know how Voltage is about recording games, and I don't really want to get the axe. I know with some of their other ones, they're like, no, but it's like, yeah, but those are like current games, and these ones are on the Switch. So, like, I, they're, it's not like mobile games where it might be different because people are still, like, shelling money out. These are like, I paid for the, like, you know what I mean? Might be okay. I don't know. Um... I could just load them and see. But so I don't really know what to do because I don't really want to start anything long. Um, so I don't know if we just put up Variable Barricade. That's the other game we're playing in tandem with this one. For those people who are like here on roughly around the time this goes up and not watching two years down the road. If you're watching two years down the road, this makes no difference to you, does it? You don't care. You're here for this game and you're not here for the whole channel thing. But anyway... Uh, you just sit patiently. It's fine. We'll get to it. Um, yeah. So I don't know. We just put variable barricade up every day. I, I haven't figured it out. But anyway, I do my channel updates in the middle of videos because I don't want to have to be like, okay, I have to do a whole separate video for a channel update for like two minutes of, I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. But if Birushana is coming out that fast, I kind of want to just wait for it. If it was like... Piofiore 1926 is coming out in September. I think that's the date, somewhere in September. So it's like, oh, okay, we got time, whatever. You know what I mean? The only problem is then it's going to be like Variable Barricade's going to end right before that. <sighs> Timing is not our friend lately. Why is nothing else coming out in the summer? Did anything else just come out recently? Like in June? Like, because I feel like I'm just like off. Like, I have all these games pre-ordered. Well, I have Beardoshana and uh, P.O. Fiori pre-ordered. The other ones, it's like, as soon as they come out, I'm just going to download them digitally. I don't know why. I was just like, I haven't spent money in a while. Beardoshana's pre-release. The special, the limited edition's coming out. I'll just buy it. Sure. I don't. P.O. Fiori, I absolutely bought the limited edition because I'm pissed I didn't buy. Like, I don't know if they had one for the first one, but I'm kind of pissed I didn't get it because, like, I love the fucking soundtrack. So the second one, I was like, hell yeah, because I want the fucking soundtrack that comes with it. Screw you, I need it. So, like, you know. And, like, Bustafellas, I'm mad that I didn't get the, like, limited edition. 
But like when it's like, oh, or order the soundtrack. You can order the soundtrack. I don't know if I'm going to like the soundtrack till I play the game and then I can't get the soundtrack after and that makes me mad. I don't want to buy it and be like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's good, but I'm not going to listen to it. But like Pio Fiore, I'm like, fuck, I love that. I'll put that on repeat. I'll play that in the car. I love that one. And I like Busta Fellows too, but I'm like, why? But I can't. So those are the two I'm sad I'm lacking. But anyway, not the point. Uh, Yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do. Um, so if, uh, I don't know. It only matters to the people that are here on the normal average basis of things just went up recently, not I'm watching this a year later and binging from beginning to end. If you're just beginning, binging this from beginning to end and not watching anything else, this doesn't matter to you and you don't really give a shit. So anyway, uh, let's just get into this. <laughs> I'm just, we're just going to drag this out as long as we can so we can make an extra like week because I'm. I don't have my book with me that tells me when things are going up and how far ahead. I th actually, we might be okay. Because this might be hitting close to the end of June. My book's downstairs and I don't want to get it, okay? I came all the way up the stairs. I don't want to walk downstairs. I'm old. My knee hurts. Okay, we're already recording. My headset won't stretch that far. Anyway. We might be okay. It might only be a few days. so. But I like to have a buffer of at least a week or so. So, mm -hmm. oh, Anyway. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. <sighs> I like to think things through with you. I brainstorm with you. I bounce ideas off you. You're my... I take my little idea ball and I throw it at you and it bounces off you. It seems violent and mean, but it helps me. <laughs> anyway. After arriving in Nakakuni, we skipped the uh, we skipped the office and teleported to Makatsui. Oh, right. We were going to see Ak Akuro. I know this isn't the best time to take the Oborogoruma, but... We arrived at the Izuchi Castle, and Akuro led us to his room. I was already tired. I love his little chicken Godzilla in the background. Like, on the top, like, right above, like, kind of next to Yakumo's head, but on the top there, it looks like fucking Godzilla chicken. And I'm kind of fucking here for it. And then there's, like, a little lady in the next one, and then there's, like, actual Godzilla. But I'm here for Godzilla chicken. Also, the one that's, like, next to the lady in the left corner, because that other one's in the far, far left. The top one is like a blob monster. You can't really tell what it is. It looks like a, bi a big rock. But the little one underneath it, that little whatever the hell thing that is, is kind of fucking cute in how janky it looks. But I'm not sure if I like that one or Godzilla Chicken better, but they're kind of tied at the top of weird fucking shit that Akuro has in his room that I kind of love for no reason. Anyway. I understand that someone from the inside's involved, but is there any chance they're being manipulated by an Ayakashi? We didn't know if this was the act of one person. Was I even safe around Ayakashi? Uh, don't be so anxious. Besides, even if there was an Ayakashi involved, there's no way it'd be Akuro. Trust your boss for once. I mean, I do trust Akuro, so. And, and you, Sammy. Sorry, I wasn't doubting Akuro. It's just that so much is going on and I don't know what to think. It's so rare that Sammy isn't poking fun at me. That's making it all feel worse. You're like, well, you just insult me. He's like, trying to be nice. And you're like, I know, and it hurt. I don't know what's happening. I need you to insult me so I feel normal. It's really sad <laughs> when you're in that state when you're like, normal for me is you insulting me. So I'm going to need you to insult me so I feel normal. You being nice, I get you're trying to help, but it's making it worse. <laughs> like, It's a weird place to be. It feels like something big is happening, and it's just eating away at me. Sammy gave me an honest smile. I think he was actually being empathetic. <laughs> Still in this round, she's like, Is he being nice? It's like, Sammy's not a bad guy. He's just a little bit of a dick, but it's kind of in a cute way, I guess. Anyway. <clears throat> Tokitsugu, can I come in? Sammy responded, and the sliding door opened. He entered with tea and snacks. Oh, fuck, Akuro. I you to be like, can I, I have snacks? Yes. Don't even ask. Get in here. I'm sorry for the wait. I was making sure no one else was nearby. Oh, please go ahead and discuss what you need to. Sammy nodded and began to speak. Akuro, Obi Blunt. A species being targeted because she carries the blood of the first. And this is confidential information. Sammy was scrolling through a tablet, then pulled a file. This is... Tokitsugu's family lineage and the land he's managing, right? What does this have to do with Spacey? I like how he's like, this is Tokitsugu's family lineage. Like, you're not talking. 
too fucking samey. Here. It's more like the the Tokitsugu. Well, it's like your family's lineage, but like the way he phrased it was weird. There were countless family trees written in great detail. Looking at the document, I couldn't really tell what bloodline I belonged to at all. Whoa, no, you don't. You stop that. You're a bad bird. You had a choice to come up here and you said no. You don't start screaming. You a jerk. Such an asshole. I wonder what they mean by land he manages. Oh, this map has the area that the Samey family takes care of. Here's the oldest one. Will you look at the scroll. Samey took out data from another folder and expanded the scroll. It was ancient. I thought deciphering an ancient scroll like this took the skills of an archaeologist. I don't think I have the skills to read it. It reads, I've given land to a Samey. Worked, worked, worked faithfully. Well, next generation. Sam said, said this. I, I wonder if Sammy because he's, because he's from an Onmyoji. He's reads. He pawns things. And if you're aware with the current map we have, he used the software to create a composite image and a familiar air. Oh, that's my grandma's hometown. How does this tie into me being part of the tribute? Tri I understood the point that my family and Samies were connected a long time ago. If this is what proved that I was love, love, oh my god, it's fine. Time, we're probably not related. <laughs> Still though, even this is secret. It was, it was altered, and this is the real one. And here's the alteration. The family tree before this map was altered. Why? And why was Sammy's family in charge of protecting the first Ayakashimori's family tree? I have a lot of questions, but I'm sure I could ask them later. But I'm sure I could ask them all later. No, ask them now. I'm curious. Uh, in the real family tree, the first is here. A few daughters have the subsidiary line, and this family adopted a son named... Spacey? Uh, named... Well, s oh yeah, no, it would be named Akitsu. Okay, see, this is where... Okay, this goes back to me being like, it's really confusing if they're gonna call me by my last name, actually call me by my last name. Like, I get why they... Like, I would prefer in games if there's if they're always just gonna call you by your last name, just to call me by my first name, because, like, that's how we do it in the West. You know what I mean? So I get why they do that, but there's... I feel like, again, they just need to know the game... When they're doing it and look into it and be like, okay, I know that in the West we call people by their first names. We don't really call them by their last names. So it'd be awkward if we were constantly calling her by her last name. But most of us playing Atome games understand. And even though you're like, it's a little weird. Okay, I think it's weird when you're playing Tears of Themis and you're fucking talking to Artem and you're like, Mr. Wing, Mr. Wing, Dr. Director, Vivint, just fucking call him by the first name. Stop it. Because it seems really fucking weird. You're, like, gonna be boning these men, and you're like, Jack Director, just fucking call him Vin! Okay, that drives me crazy. Because that's stupid. You didn't need to put that in. There's no need for that. No need for that. Okay? Stop it. We're on, like, a friend basis. Calling him Dr. Richter is like you're 10, and he's, like, 40, and it's fucking weird, okay? In this instance, this is one of those cases where you're looking through the game, and you're like, um... If we don't call her by her last name and we put any place where they, you know, then it it's weird when we get to this point. We named Spacey. No, it wasn't named Spacey. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Or the fact that this one was just shoddy coding. Okay, from the translation team. Shoddy fucking coding on this one because, oh, anytime they call her Akitsu, we'll just have them call, we'll pick the first name thing. And then anytime they actually call her by her first name, we're calling her by the original first name that the game had, and it's not right at all, and everything's fucking wrong, and the names are all wrong. You know what I mean? This would have made more sense, but I get where they weren't going through line by line, and they were just like, anywhere X happens, pull Y. Anywhere Y happens, just fuck all who gives a shit, because that's basically what happened. <laughs> and because... If you were doing it line by line, you would have been like, okay, you were looking through each section where, okay, when they're pulling the name, yeah, yeah, okay, we can call her Spacey. In all the cases, it makes sense. Oh, wait. 
Tomomo and Kinka are always calling her a first name, but if you put a different name, if you put Bob Smith in there, they're calling her Shino still. Wait, shit. Okay, Tomomo and Kinka, we need to always pull the first name. It would have made sense in almost 90% of the game, and you wouldn't have had fucking issues. There would have been weird times where you're like, just call me by my first name. And then he's like, all right, Spacey. And you're like, oh my God, it was so awkward. And you're like, he's been calling you Spacey the whole fucking game. But like, like the shoe parts, you're like, I get it, but it's still weird. But okay. We've got to wrap our own brains around that in the Western world because it's coded to kind of cater to us when it doesn't quite make sense in the scheme of the game. But it's weird, but we get it, right? This, though, is like, no, this is one of those cases where they actually should have paid more attention. Again, they weren't going to because, like, they're doing this and you're like, this had to be the last name. Whatever you had for last name should have been in here. Fuck, even if you changed your last name and this said Ikitsu, you would have been like, oh, okay. It's just, it just would have made more sense. <laughs> uh, the name thing is kind of just, like, really kind of messed up. But anyway, a son named Not Spacey. Akitsu. My name's in the first Ayakashimori's tree. It may have been a branch family, but to carry the first blood is a feat in itself, and I'm sure it was easy to go into hiding if they went far away. Hold on a second, though. In the family tree, the first is here. A few daughters have the subsidiary line, and this family adopted a son. Named... I'm not really in their bloodline if they adopted me. Not me, but you know what I mean? Like, so this was my, say, great-grandfather. It's probably great-great-great-great, but let's just say great-grandfather to make it easier. So great-grandpappy Akitsu over here was adopted, and then they're like, you have the f primary bloodline. No, that's not how it works. If he was adopted, like... A few daughters have the subsidiary line. So it would be like, okay, here's the first Ayakashimori, right? Bob up here. He's got a couple daughters. He's got Susan and Tara. Tara adopts Akitsu. Akitsu is not fucking related to Bob. Not in any, like, like adoption-wise, he's my grandpa now. But we're not blood-related. I don't carry the power. That doesn't make any sense. Am I reading this wrong? This family adopted a son. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, my family might be in the tributary bloodline tree, but we were adopted in. We don't have their genetic makeup. Therefore, I would not have their abilities. Is this like a translation issue? Or like, do they think we're stupid? Because like, pretty sure adoption doesn't... Okay, look. Your kid is still your kid, whether they're your, your genetic child that you birthed or you adopted them. But genetically speaking, they are not related to you that way. So you having magical abilities, adopting a child does not make that child have magical abilities. <laughs> it's not how it works. Okay. Anyway. I don't know why this brunch was hidden. But the family lineage was made so only the master of the house could see it. Unless they're saying this child was adopted out. You know what I mean? Like, Susan had a kid and then adopted him out to someone else. And that is Akitsu over there. That would make sense. But like, not adopting in. Done... Oh. Sammy said he tried looking in the family cellar but couldn't find it. But how did the culprit find out that Spacey had the tributary bloodline of the first? I really don't. Were they able to guess using the document? I mean, I don't. But the document in front of us came from Sammy's home, and the only the owner could see it. There would have been no way for them to do that. There's something we're missing here. Maybe other branch families were hidden too. There had to be a reason that Sammy's family was protecting these two. The reason must have been a good one at the time. Do you think the first Ayakashimori's family didn't produce any heirs and died? Or maybe there's a chance they were destroyed. Well, see, that's it right there. The first Ayakashimori's family didn't produce heirs and died, or there's a chance they were destroyed. But again, so how am I related to them if they all died and I'm not related to them because I wouldn't exist? This doesn't make any sense. Anyway, this might make sense of 
This might make sense of the main tree being stored in Sammy's house, the altered one elsewhere. The room went silent. Why don't we gather the information and assess what we have so far? Everyone nodded in agreement. If the main branch was murdered, then the branch family borrowed the Samey family's power. Then the branch family borrowed the Samey family's power to lie about the lineage and protect the heir. Okay. Okay, that's what they're talking about, the secondary branches. So, like, the daughters or whatever who went up that didn't have the same last name. So, like, we have Bob Smith over here. He has daughters that are now Jones. And, that, and then they were like, let's hide that family. So they think, all oh, the Smiths are dead! But still, the adoption thing doesn't make any sense. Hold on, I'm going to get the bird because he's screaming. Anyway, okay. So, bird is acquired. So now you're just going to have to listen to me be like, God damn it, bird, stop hitting my headset! But he's happy now. He put himself in his cage because I wasn't there. That's probably why he was shrieking. Like, lady, I'm out! Human, what are you doing? He's talking about you because you're just pain in my ass. I love you, though. And don't you eat my microphone. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure we read this, but it's been a few minutes. So if the main branch was murdered, then the branch family borrowed the Samey family's, Samey family's power to lie about the lineage and protect the heir. We don't have documents to back this up, but it seems like a natural conclusion when looking at the evidence we have so far. Okay, that part makes sense. Sure. If the main family was killed off and I'm part of it, then that's the motive for the attacks. Except for the adoption thing. <laughs> we can assume that the culprit's targeting Specey because they want to destroy Sakuratani. Sakuratani would be destroyed if I die? Yakumo nodded. If the bloodline ends, Sakuratani can never know balance. We couldn't do the ritual. Uh, so if I'm the tributary bloodline and I die, no one can ever do rituals again. Got it. Okay, but like, that's a lot of fucking weight to rest on my shoulders. Now we gotta continue the bloodline. So like, I have to have kids. That sucks. But apparently you could just adopt, because that seems like what happened before. Um, so let's just forget that. But like, they thought everybody was dead. So like, unless Sammy was like, know for a fact they're not then like or maybe well that could be one of the secrets that his dad knew you know when his dad took over the the Sammy family like and has the secret seller shit right that Tokataka and Tokitsugu both snuck into and found information on like everyone's like oh my god so the original bloodline's dead but the thing is is like if it's such common knowledge that Yakumo's over here like oh yeah if you die this place is fucked then then they had to know that somebody from the tributary bloodline existed because this place wasn't fucked. Like, the power's in, out of balance and we're trying to keep it stable, but the Yakima makes it sound like, oh shit, if you die and you're the last, ooh, we're all goners. Okay, but like, that's not how it happens because you all thought that there was no more tributary bloodline and it was like, it's unstable and we gotta work really hard to keep it balanced and oh fuck, what are we gonna do? But the place didn't just, like, poof out of existence because it wouldn't be here right now. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things in this that are, like, giant fucking holes in the logic that they set up for you. And you're like, but that, that isn't, but, I, okay. All right. I, you know, I, I say, like, okay, we'll just move on. But we won't. It's going to bug me. Because, like, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Wait a minute. I can't just accept that. Hold on. Isn't there a chance that my family's going to be exposed to danger? I can't imagine the thought. Also, you have other members in your family, so technically you, the place wouldn't explode. Right, because they're not all dead. Grandma's still alive, right? Maybe. I don't know. C calm down. Your family can't see Ayakashi, right? Then that means they weren't able to inherit those powers. They didn't inherit them? Even if a family has them, as they mix with others, the blood eventually thins out. In the past, Onmyoji and the keepers of the shrines were very careful when they wed... Oh, so that's why, like, Sammy is, like, canon boyfriend route, I guess? Yeah! Although, technically, according to what Tamamo said, maybe that original person was, like, half Ayakashi, so, like, either way, I'm golden, because I got my Sammy boyfriend, I got my Ayakashi boyfriend, so I'm good. The fact that you can see Ayakashi is a miracle, although now's not the time to be excited about it. 
I'm an Aikashimori of the tributary bloodline, and now my life is in danger. Yeah, it doesn't sound exciting. I mean, exciting, but not in a good way. Not like, exciting! It's like, oh, that's exciting! I still would never give up my ability to see. The thought of my family in danger terrified me, but if they're safe because they didn't inherit this power, I'm happy it only happened to me. Sami wouldn't have ever scouted me otherwise. I would have never learned of the Aikashimori. People live in the real world, none the wiser, while I've always been able to see things. No matter what, this fact doesn't change. Besides, the Ayakashi have always been so nice. Every day is challenging, but it's been fun, too. I see, like, it's one of those things where there's always someone like this. I can see spirits, and then you find out you have this cool magical ability. And, like, if you're thinking, you're like, man, I want a cool magical ability. But then you're like, I don't know, it sounds like being schizophrenic or some shit, though. Like, it sounds kind of bad, because, like... If you think about it, they're like, I see ghosts! And people are like, okay, crazy! Ship her off to the loony bit, and, like, everybody thinks you're fucking insane, and then, like, whatever, and you're like, no, but I mean, like, I really see, like, spirits and shit. And, like, she really sees spirits, but, like, she'd have been, like, locked up a long time ago for saying this shit. So, like, you know, you think, like, I want a cool power, man! But it would be, like, really problematic, because it's not like we live in a world where, like... We live in the Marvel universe where you're like, oh yeah, there's superheroes left and right, and like we constantly have to rebuild buildings, and like the Hulk's always smashing it down, and then Loki's bringing aliens, and it was like crazy. You know what I mean? Like, we don't live in that universe. You live in this universe where you're like, magic? Oh my god, she's crazy. Send her to the loony bin. You know? So, like, if you had magical abilities, it would kind of suck. Kind of suck in this world, you know? I mean, I guess if you lived in a different world having magical abilities, you're like, oh, I'm just basically like everyone else. And then the person, when, other than being you right now with no magical abilities, is in that world. And you're like, I have no magical abilities. I'm a loser here. Great. Wait, that's kind of like what I was back home. But at least back home, nobody else had magical abilities either. I don't feel so bad about myself. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Anyway. Like, she was like, I'm kind of concerned. I can see spirits and shit, and this is weird, and I feel alone. Now she doesn't. But, like, what are the chances? Sure, if you're a fucking, like, the, the main character in an anime or in a Tomei game or a freaking TV show, sure, you're gonna, or a book, you know, you're gonna find your other people and be vindicated. But in the real world, you're just stuck working your 9-to-5 job while fucking Sam the dead guy over here is whispered in your ear and you're like, shut up, dude, I'm trying to do my reports. And then someone's like, oh my god, Spacey's talking to herself and she's crazy. And you're like, right now I'm the office crazy lady! Damn it, Sam, shut up! You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying it would kind of suck. On one hand, having magical abilities would be kind of fun. But on the other hand, probably sucks a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. When I was stuck working in the office, I began to miss them all so much. I must really love Sakurotani. Tokitsugu, would her family be in danger even if they don't have the power to save Sakurotani? Is there a threat of them being taken hostage? Thanks a lot, Akura. Way to bring the mood down. Oh. See me at a confident smile. I'm already on it. I've asked my father to protect your family, and I haven't noticed anything yet. I just love the fact that your father's on a goddamn stakeout at my grandma's house or some shit. I don't know. She didn't... I don't... She, okay, the only reason I'm thinking grandma is because she said, That's the village my grandma lived in! I don't know if she has parents or siblings. I don't remember. I'm just like on grandma's the only one that we have left. And so his dad's watching my granny. I like it. It's cute. He's sitting out there like with his binoculars staring. He's like, her flower pots in her window are really cute. Should go in there for gardening tips later. <laughs> like, I just like Im Im imagining all these friend mances in the background. Like freaking Shu and Yakimo. It's just cute. Sammy's dad and granny. <laughs> just, they, he goes over and they go on little, like, he's over there for gardening advice and she makes him tea and teaches him how to knit and shit. And he's like, I, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sammy's like, wait, what? <laughs> Look at the neat little socks your dad knitted for me. It's cute. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know. I have a very active imagination and it's crazy. Anyway, thank you so much. So happy to know your dad is watching over Granny. Maybe you can pick up some cool knitting tips. 
or some gardening stuff. I just assume her grandma likes to knit and garden. Who knows? Maybe she likes Taekwondo or some shit. I don't know. If your enemies are human, there are barriers we can use very easily. Tadashi might seem as cute as a puppy sometimes, but he's very capable. Puppy, puppet, same difference. Oh, Togetsugu, you really think I'm dependable? That's awesome. I'll make sure I do a good job so I don't let anyone down. Sammy essentially calls him a dog, yet he remains unfazed. Oh, Yakumo. <laughs> Yakumo's, oh, honey. My eyes met Sammy's as I smiled in relief. The way he looked at me was filled with kindness, as if he was trying to lighten my fears. He's a good boyfriend, even though he's not my boyfriend in this ride. He's still a good boyfriend. He's really good at doing that. Okoro, aside from Shirei's and their assistants, I don't let anyone else know about the bloodline. I understand. I'm going to begin investigating to see if an Ayakashi had... had if any Ayakashi have been acting suspicious lately. I, Okoro is clearly slightly tipsy. I'm not at all, but I'm just saying because I can't pronounce his words right now. Thanks. Well, I'll be walking you to your dorms. For now, we'll just be visiting you there, so you have to make sure to stay inside. Okay. There was so much on my mind that I gave a pretty indifferent response. I'm sorry I can't take away your anxiety, but we're going to protect you. Try not to think of this bloodline stuff and just rest. Okay, thank you very much. I nodded and Yakumo gave me a reassuring smile. My seniors made me feel safe. I was lucky to have them. <sighs> Amulet. After they dropped me off at the dorms, I sat on the sofa, hugging my knees. I was attacked. The culprit might be from the 6th, and I'm part of the first Ayakashi Mori's bloodline. I'm a little tired of thinking. Koya sat next to me in his usual spot. Hey, Koya, what should I do? Koya cuddled up in a little ball. Koya cuddled up in a little ball, lifted his head up. Makes more sense if you read it right. What are you talking about? I just feel like I'm always the one being protected and I feel so useless. Koya seemed uninterested, but he focused his gaze on me. You carry the blood of the first Ayakashimori, but after so many de generations, it's thinned out. I'm not saying it's supposed to make me strong, but if they always have to try and protect me, will I ever be able to do anything on my own? My skills are still like a newbie compared to Sami and Yakumo. They've got time on their side. But if one day they start questioning me, wondering if I have what it takes to be an Ayakashimori, I wouldn't know what to say. But some people in general affairs dream of having this job. I guess just because I'm already here doesn't mean I can't I doesn't mean I can stop training. If I want to be an Aikashimori who can hold her own against her peers, I'm just gonna have to figure out what I can do to help. Master, do you want to pet me? Koya put his chin on my lap. <laughs> so cute. He's like, I guess I can suffer. What? What? What's gotten into you? His tail was wagging as he placed his paw on my hand. Oh, this is so cute. He's so gruff and angry, and he's like, you may pet me, I suppose. <laughs> I thought he might get mad at me asking that. He's so cute, like a little baby tiger. I have heard in the past that you enjoy petting Ayakashi. I do like giving a pat to the Kitsune kids, or scratching Kinka's ears sometimes. I love the fact that, like, you know, you pat the Kitsune kids, because they're kids, you pat them on the head, you can pat kids on the head, right? Fine, normal. <laughs> scratching Kinka's ears is like, and that's where it took a little bit of a turn. Not in a weird way. A little bit weird, but still kind of cute. You know what I mean? Petting Shiratsky's tail. Hey, I like petting your tail. <gasps> Just pet your friends. <laughs> I mean, I guess it makes sense because they're Ayakashi and they have like, it's like you go to your friend's house and they have a dog. You're going to pet the dog, right? You know, you're like, I'm not a dog person. I'm still going to pet the dog. Pet the dog, you know? But like, but if the dog was like a half human, half dog hybrid thing, you're like, I mean, I'd probably also, I guess, if you're cool with it, <laughs> Fido, I, I will pet you, I guess. So it's just strange. It seems weird. But Kai is my page and I never imagined he'd let me do that. Koya looked uncomfortable saying this, and it was so cute that it made me feel so nice. <laughs> I would never have imagined you'd let me pet you, Koya. Perhaps you are in need of it. You can forget my offer. Koya turned the other way, jumped off my lap, and curled up into a ball again. I I'm sorry. 
Thank you. Thanks for looking out for me, Koya. Really, thank you so much. Koya pretended he wasn't listening, but I saw his tail wag. I patted his back. It's so soft and warm. <laughs> so fluffy. If you are satisfied, we are good then. No, just a little longer. This is a rare moment and I'd like to enjoy it. I did offer. I have no choice but to honor it. Do as you please. He doesn't say much and he hates when I treat him like a cat. But Koya is so kind. Because he looks like a cat though. He's like an angry cat. I love it. I, I love Koya. I just love how they were like, let's make him like super cute, but look kind of pissed off. <laughs> like pissed off cute cat. It's been so long since I finished training and first met Koya, but this was the first time he ever let me pet him. I really hope his voice in the game is like deep and gruff, because that's how I imagine him, you know? <sighs> I always imagined he was very difficult, but this made me think differently about him. So much happened today, and I've been feeling tense throughout all of it. Attacked on my first day back, then told I share the blood of Sukurotani's first Ayakashimori. I can hardly believe it, since I can barely cast apprehension spells, let alone old rituals. But the scrolls and family trees didn't lie. That you know of. I mean, they could have. I mean, Sami has one that clearly did lie, because they were like, see, right here, you're not here! And over here, actually, this one's real. So, technically, scrolls can lie. Even if information needed to be altered to hide that I was part of the family, I wouldn't be surprised if the lineage was told orally. Then again, I've never heard of any old scrolls lying around at home or heard stories about this. Wait. I took out the amulet I carried in my pocket. My grandma gave this to me. She was worried about how I was able to see things all the time. When she gave this to me, she said that she'd received it from her grandmother. This has been in our family for five generations. It must have been with us for a long time. I thought this was your typical family heirloom, but could it be? I opened the pouch that held the amulet. The onyx cross design is pretty modern. It always seems somewhat ordinary, but maybe I should look into this. It's kind of funny, like, the onyx cross is pretty modern. But yet, it's been five generations, so weird. I stared at the cross as I held it in my hands. Koya began to look at me. You're curious about the design? That stone is really powerful. The spell reminds me of the Daigyoku that is protecting the Fujizakura. What? Really? I was surprised he brought up the Daigyoku stored deep underground the Nakakuni building. The Fujizakura Daigyoku. Daigyoku, yeah. Sami once explained to me that it was a stone used in the very creation of Sakuratani. Master, your ancestors hid their relation to the tributary bloodline of the first... Don't you think they did that for a reason? You're right. They must have been quite wary to have hidden their place with the li within the lineage. If we consider the Fujisakura Daigyoku along with that, maybe we can find something. If this is what we need to complete a ritual, perhaps we could balance Sakuratani. But we have no ancient scrolls or documentation that explain anything about the ritual. How would we be able to perform one? And what if a sacrifice is needed to do one? What if the practitioner has to give their life? At that point... I didn't want to say another word. I could already feel the anxiety rising. If I only have to give a strand of hair, a drop of blood, sure, but to give my life? I let out a big sigh as I clutched the amulet. Koya closed his eyes. Master, I will pretend I didn't see that. You must follow your heart. The choice ultimately will be yours. You're not going to tell me to protect Sukurodani. I am your page, master. The role of the page is to protect the master. I provide you with protection, not guidance. This was Koya's way of looking out for me. I almost started crying. Thank you. I wonder what I could do now that I know I'm a descendant of the first. I feel like you have to tell Sami about this. Based on evidence we have, a sixth agent is likely the culprit. But even if we caught them, it wouldn't eliminate the element of danger. No, you don't have to tell me. Okay, back up. You'd just be like, so, like, I'm just curious. Like, what kind of, like, ritual or spell or whatever? I mean, like, I'm not capable of doing this, but what would we need to do to save Sakuratani? Oh, you have to, like, you have to have a special artifact, and then you have to stab yourself with it. Wow, too bad I don't have that special artifact. Gosh darn. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Sammy would tell you. And if they're like, oh, no, seriously, we just chant some shit. You have an artifact? I do. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, if Sammy's smart, he'd be like, no, we just chant some 
some shit, girl. No, with the magical artifact, we just gotta find it. And you're like, I've got it. And then he stabs you when you're chanting. The, I mean, that would make sense. That's why Sammy's eyes are closed. Is he gonna stab us in this one? We're gonna die because Sammy's gonna Sammy's gonna stab us and lie to us because that would make sense. I'm waiting for like. I mean, we romanced him, but like, why did he have his eyes closed? I mean, he's a little shady, but he's not as bad as most of the characters with their eyes closed. They always turn out fine. Well, not always. Half of the time, because it's really only been twice. One time, they turn out pretty like a decent character. You're like, oh, okay, we got over the stabby part, right? And then the other time, they were just actually stabby bastard the whole time, so. And then now, Sammy is like, nah, he's fine. It's weird. Now they're confusing me here. They did it on purpose. They were like, let's throw in that eyes closed character to fuck with people's brains. And it worked. And if they're teaming up with Ayakashi, who knows what'll happen if they catch me. God knows what they might attempt. If they're trying to destroy Sakuratani and my very existence gets in the way of that, I'm sure they'll keep trying to attack me. I don't have a lot of fighting skills, and aside from my ability to see Ayakashi, I've lived a pretty normal life. Even if we hold a successful ritual, my life wouldn't stop being in danger. I might be murdered like the First's family. Even if all I want is to protect Sakuratani and the Ayakashi who live in it. With the knowledge that I carry that blood, I can't accept anything other than peace, and I'll put my life on the line to have it. And she was like, uh, yep, nope, gonna sacrifice myself. And the same, he's like, girl, seriously, you just gotta say these words. <laughs> like, return. Still in chapter six. Okay. The next day, I took half the day off and was eating breakfast when Sammy and Yakimo came by. They came as a pair since men weren't allowed to enter the woman's dorm. What's the point of even coming together, though? As I was making fun of them in my head, I realized the sight of their faces actually brought me some relief. I feel like we have a lot of CGs, though, that we have to get. Because, like, I thought in the others, there was, like, a lot of blank spaces. So, huh. And actually, maybe chapter 6 and 7 will be longer than I hoped. So that we could drag this out a little bit longer. So that we... <laughs> I put some tea and snacks on the table to Sammy's delight. You don't look too rested. I hope what I'm about to say will at least make you feel better. Yeah, okay, so after we saw you, me and Tokutsuku started talking about who might be a perpetrator in the situation of ours. What do you mean by after? Have you guys even slept yet? After they dropped me off, I guess they went back to research at the office. It's all good. We rested a bit so it wouldn't affect our work. So, our conclusion was... There's a good chance that it's an Ayakashi Mori. We came up with a motive, and I think you might relax a bit after hearing what it is. But how did you come up with that? We figured it's someone in the special agency. We considered the higher-ups, but both options are out the door. You have to go through Nakakuni in order to get to any areas of Ayakashi residence. If you're not in the six, spells are in place that track you whenever you enter Sakurotani, so it's risky trying to evade all that. So that's why you think it's not one of them. I see. There's the possibility that someone could wander into Sakurotani from a secret place in the real world. The culprit could have done that. I don't like getting spirited away, I guess. It's entirely possible that someone could use this to enter Sakuratani and hide a seal. Intended, oh, and hide a seal intended to hurt you, Spacey. In order to evade the six coming down hard, the only way to do this is coming from the real world using an entry point like this. These doors are inconsistent and hard to track. It'd be impossible for the culprit to evade Aikashimori for long in the meantime. There's magic in place that always monitors what's going on. It's difficult to bypass it. And Aikashimori could have hexed someone and ordered them to hide it, then wiped their memory. That's a possibility, too. Also. Oh, wait. Did I just read that as... Oh. I read that as Yakumo. Anyway. And Aikashimori could have hexed someone and ordered them to hide it, and then wiped their memory. Well, that's a possibility, too. Also, I haven't informed Atsuya about the situation yet. What? Sami always reports everything, and if this is Aikashimori related, even more of a reason to. I wonder what's going on. You don't... <gasps> Come on, don't make me suspicious of the chief. He'd be the first to know so I could get orders from the higher-ups. But he's out on business until tomorrow. I'm keeping it internal for now. Only Sammy's squad knows. I don't want the culprit to know that we're on the, we're on the hunt. The suspect would presumably be outside of Sammy's squad, so that's a good idea. Presumably. I like how she's like, presumably. It's neither one of these chuckle fucks. <laughs> 
but she's keeping that door open. She's closed like the window. She's like, the door's a window. Just a crack. Just a crack. Just in case. <laughs> I'll keep looking for documents the culprit might have used. Something that would have identified your place in the tributary bloodline. We might be able to find the suspect with that. Until we get a hold of that, I'll take care of doing your rounds for now. Tokutsugu. Oh, he's talking to him. I was like, Tokutsugu, what? Oh, yeah. We just figured out a game plan when Sami checked his watch. Okay, oh, let's get moving. Also, you don't really need to work today. I took half a day off already, but being in my room by myself anymore is going to make my anxiety a lot worse. Well, you can go on patrol with me. Okay, sure. Okay, you two just go on your rounds. I know staying cooped up in the Nakakuni office would only be stressful for you. I might want to avoid the office now that our suspect is an Ayakashimori. Very true. I really don't want to go there, so I'll leave the reporting to you. Sami left us, heading toward the office. Yakumo and I began our rounds. Also, because it's safer to be with Yakumo out in Sakuratani than locked up in my room by myself, because you never know. Now, granted, the... What the fuck is the guy's name? Anyway, that guy. We know, right? The guy keeps glaring at us. It's probably him. Okay, that's my first suspect, right? Soup, sus as fuck. Okay, number one most wanted list, okay? Number one most suspicious. All right? So, like... He's not going to be busting into our dorm room, but, like, still? I don't trust him. You know what I mean? What if he's like, oh, hey, Susan. Yeah, let's go visit Spacey here. She's locked in her room. And then he, like, knocks Susan upside the head or, like, possesses her or some crazy shit. And then they both stab me. And then poor Susan is like, oh, my God, what happened? You know what I mean? You don't know. I'm just saying. I wouldn't want to be alone, okay? You don't, you don't know. Like, again, these chuckle fucks got in here. They came as a pair, so maybe, like, they came as a pair, and the people were like, it's fine. Kindness. Two guys are going in. It's all right. I mean, you don't know. I could be sleeping with both of them. Like, thanks. Thanks for letting the two, two-thirds of my thruple come in. But Yakimo's just our buddy. But he could just be the wingman. He's like, oh, I brought Tokitsugo so you guys can all have sex upstairs, and I'll just hang out here, down here and watch TV. I mean, you don't know. They could be, like, a wing bro. I'm just saying, like, come on. Yakumo seemed to be thinking very hard of ways to cheer me up. He was so chipper talking to me. Today we'll hit Makatsui. Tokutsugu wanted us to give this to Akuro, so we should swing by Azuchi Castle while we're at it. As we walked toward Azuchi Castle, Azushiki Warashi called out to me. Hey, long time no see. I've been worried. Are you sick? Oh, do I look pale? What's wrong? You hungry? You can have half of my manju. Only half. Oh, only half, though. Half, okay? The Zashiki Urashi broke his manju in half and gave it to me. Thank you. And I guess Yamori just gave me this manju? He told me to split it with a friend, so I'm glad I found one. Wait, what? I reached for the manju, but stopped short of grabbing it. I felt a cold sweat on my back. I don't know who gave this. I can't even tell if this is safe to eat. There could be a spell on this intended to poison me. They might know I always play with the kids around here. They could have set a trap. That's, like, really mean, and that's, like, crazy. And, like, they, she sounds like a crazy person. It's probably, like, it could be the truth, but it could also be batshit insane. Could a human spell work on an Ayakashi? I don't want the Ayakashi to bear a curse, either. I can't get anyone else involved. I should take his other half and save him. But how could I explain it? I can't just throw it away. If I did that, it would just be seen as something rude and unfriendly. I couldn't bring myself to eat it. Hey, it's okay. Go ahead. Eat. Whoa. Lucky you. I want some. It's spicy. If you don't want it, can I have it? Yakumo asked very loudly and reached for the... the reached for the Zashiki Warashi's manju right away. Hey, my manju. It fell. Uh, aw. I wanted to share it with her. I I'm so sorry. I'll buy a new one. Hold on. After picking up the manju, we went to the store near us and came back out with more. Here, I'm sorry about that. This one's fresh. Let's eat it together. Yay, thank you. Yeah, let's eat it together this time. All right, and Yakumo, thank you. Good job, Yakumo. I mean, we joke that Yakumo's a puppet. I mean, okay. I don't think we've ever hated on Yakumo. Like, God, you're an imbecile. I mean, he's a little derpy, but like only over Kinka. Okay, but he's like a good boy. And, like, smart Yakumo, he was like, wait, smack, oh, shit, did I do that? I'm such a klutz, and everyone's like, silly Yakumo. 
Yakima's like, yeah. I'm only clumsy when I need to be. It's no problem at all. Don't even worry about it, Spacey. It's scary not knowing where it came from. I couldn't eat it when I started thinking about the possibilities. Really, thank you. I was grateful for Yakimo's comforting smile. I'm so glad Yakimo's with me. I didn't want to hurt the kid. <laughs> At Azuchi Castle. After leaving the Zushiki Warashi, we arrived at Azuchi Castle to met Akaro. Hello, Akaro! Togitsugu sent these documents for you! Hello. Excellent timing. I have gathered all of Spacey's allies. Please come join us. Allies? I wanted you to make I wanted you to make sure you recognize everyone who'll be helping you. Oh, okay, thank you. Yay! It's a party! For me! Hero's gonna be like, I don't wanna be here. Ha! <laughs> of course Hajun's here. Yay! Is all our friendos! Yay! Wait. But like, where's Tamamo and Kinka? The Shirai's and assistants were in the parlor. I mean, that's true. Sammy did say only tell the Shirai's and assistants. <laughs> so Spacey, it's been a while. Akuro told us all of what's going on. To think you have the blood of the first. I hardly knew how to respond to that, since I myself was still in disbelief. Um... Don't look so glum now. I, the Nobunaga, am your trusted ally. You just sit back and relax. <laughs> the Nobunaga. The Nobunaga. He didn't say it with a capital, he just said... <laughs> I'll rid the culprit of their head. Maybe that's a bit excessive. I love him, he's so funny. <laughs> Such a fucking nutball. Uh, she's right. And besides, and don't promise things you can't do. And decapitation is impossible in Sukuratani. Also, Hajun has a tendency to be too flashy. Uh, don't do anything before we find the culprit. Okay, let's start with our reports. Don't do anything! Spacey, so all of them gathered information on their own and approached me with it. Did they really? Akaro, don't you ignore me! Hajun... Settle down for a minute. What? I'm sorry it's so rowdy. Please, why don't you tell everyone how you feel about all of this? I realize I hadn't even thanked them yet. Oh, of course. Um, everyone, I truly apologize for causing all of you so much trouble over me. It still doesn't really feel real for me to have the blood of the first. I don't know if I can bear the responsibility. I can't help but feel afraid knowing someone wants to take my life away. Oh, I'm sorry. You're here to help, and I'm just pathetic. Spacey. No one is born with strength. All of us get our strength from somewhere. And there's no point in feeling ashamed in that. He looks really hot right now. Like, look. Hajun is, like, just so, like, man-baby that you're like, Good God, I can't deal with you. But he's entertaining. But when he's sp his sprite is like this, you're like, Why are you hot, though? Like. <laughs> This sprite of his, it's like, it's the eyes. There's something about, like, the, well, hello. You're like, um, hi. And then you're just going to throw a hissy fit about something in, like, five minutes, and I'm going to be like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> like, but I appreciate the sprite. <laughs> also, I mean, he, he, he isn't too bad. Like, it's not like, oh, God, Hajun, but you're like, oh, Hajun. <laughs> you're so fucking weird. But he has some good fucking insights like this. Those who admit their weakness find strength. If you find this to be pathetic, then surely your desire is to be strong. You're a fantastic Ayakashimori. That's why everyone's chosen to rally around you and help you through this. Even if you weren't a descendant of the first, I'm certain we'd have helped you either way. Isn't that right, everyone? Everyone nodded. My heart was full. I was so happy to feel so accepted. It's funny because, like, Hajun's, like, barely in the game. He's just kind of there. Even in Akuro's ride, he's only kind of there. But, like, the other ones, you just feel so much... Like, okay, I know Akuro's the aid and Hajun's the Shirai, right? But in the other reverse, like, they're side pieces. The aides are like, they're so awesome and they're friends and I love them. And Hajun, you're like, oh, yeah, I mean, there's Hajun. <laughs> Hajun was, like, around as much as Shuten and Ibaragi. Like, you know... I didn't feel as, like, bonded to those three as I did to, like, Coco 
and freaking Takao, you know, where you're like, I love you so much! I, I wanted to be a little more bonded to Orochi, because, you know, he's got the glasses and it's kind of hot, but... Uh, you know. If only they were always like this. What did you say, Aguro? Nothing at all. Their banter made me feel like it was any other day. Akuro and Hajun were kind. Thank you all so much. I feel... so happy. Hira, for someone who complains so much, I'm surprised to see you here. I came because K Takao told me to. He looked away after he failed to respond quickly, but I felt a little relieved to see that. He's like, I... Takao told me to do it. Didn't do it because I wanted to. He says that, but he does worry about you. He's just not very honest with his feelings. Not true. If I leave you all to handle it, things will only end poorly, and it'd be more work for me. Which is funny, because you always hand everything to Takao, so if that were true, you would never give him anything to do. It's cute. So what's the situation? I want to get this over with and go home. Well, we're supposed to be keeping an eye on the Ayakashi Mori. So far, we haven't seen anything suspicious. There's nothing worth reporting yet. Takao sighed, but Yakumo remembered something. Hey, I don't know if this counts, but I think there's an Ayakashi Mori who's been giving out snacks to the Ayakashi kids. And the kids all like Spacey, so maybe this is something we should be monitoring. Indeed. And we will keep a close watch for that. It's so funny, like, there's someone giving candy to kids? Is he driving a white van? No? Well, then what are you worried about? <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, but it is kind of funny. He's like, hey, there's an Ayakashi Mori who's giving candy out to the kids. And they're like, and? Like, it could be poisoned. But, like, that's so cold that they're like, I'll kill her by giving candy to children! We'll send a few adults to Doji City. We'll make sure to tell the kids not to take anything from Ayakashi Mori for a little while. Wow! Who would have imagined we'd ever be the ones watching the Ayakashi Mori? I know, right? Kikutsune offers no reports yet either, but we'll be on alert as well. I wonder if the Ayakashi Mori is working alone. Koko's expression was more stiff than usual, and Hira answered my internal question. Yeah, Koko's right. We can't say for sure that an Ayakashi isn't involved in wanting to destroy Sakuratani. Everyone looks at Shu. He's not here, but it's okay. Hmm. Koko, what are you suggesting? If Sani's looking out for an Ayakashi Mori, but he still hasn't found the culprit, it doesn't seem like there's a team of them. Coco's starting to sound like Hiro right now, anyway. This just seems like too big of a thing for, to do for one Ayakashi Mori on their own. Maybe a human and Ayakashi together. They might have a common goal or something. Yeah, Hiro and Coco can't be in the same room. They, they have the same fucking voice, don't they? Yeah, anyway. We can't rule that out, I suppose. I don't know if they've always had the same voice, or I just can't do separate voices for them right now because they're too similar. I'm like, I can't get the right tone and pitch, but anyway. But none of the Ayakashi we know would dream of doing something like that. Shirotsky said this with such certainty. Can you tell me why you think that? Shirotsky warmly obliged. I'm proud that we Shireis lead our sectors and the Ayakashi within them with excellence. It's what sets us apart as Shireis. If there's an Ayakashi involved with this, then maybe it came from Mitsuchi. And they're elusive. We know so little about them idea what goes on with them. You're right. And don't forget the Jayo either. Some of them agree with their philosophy and have been seen walking around with them. Jayo, yeah, like I said. There. And they've cut ties with their friends and hide. And they seem to reappear whenever we have wellness checks at their homes. They're like the wind. We can't catch them. <laughs> yes, they truly are. I wrote down everything they mentioned. We have to keep our guards up when it comes to anything dealing with the Mitsuchi. But I don't think Shu is bad. I may have only encountered him a few times, but as far as I know, none of his actions have ever hurt anyone. And, okay, like, I get it. They're trying to, like, Shu and Orochi are suspicious, and they were suspicious even in their own route, right? <laughs> their route. This wasn't just Shu's route. They're coming as a pair. Anyway. I mean, like, Koko and Shiratsuki come as a pair, right? Anyway. So... And yeah, it makes sense to, oh, because they're not here and we're going to be sus of them. But I don't think the two of them specifically, other maybe people in Mitsuchi, 
but like the two of them specifically wouldn't be working with an Ayakashi Mori to kill me because that would destroy Sakura Tani. And that's not what they wanted. You know what I mean? They just wanted to. It was like Shu's going to take over and be the only person ruling Sakura Tani. So they wouldn't want Sakura Tani to disappear. You know what I mean? I don't even think in their route it was like, well, we could blow up Sakura Tani. And they were like, awesome. They were like, uh, no, we're going to rule this place. Not destroy it, rule it. You know? So I can't see them doing it unless the Ayakashi Mori convince them somehow of being like, oh, well, you won't be able to rule unless we kill her. They might not have told them, oh, well, if we kill her, Sakura Tani's going to explode. Which, again, I don't think is... they. Everybody thought that the bloodline was completely destroyed and the place didn't blow up, so I feel like that's not quite true. But anyway. Um, I, the Ayakashi Mori might not have told them. It might have been like, oh... I want to get rid of her, and in return, if you help me get rid of her, I'll help you take over Sakura Tani. That could have worked. And then they're like, ah, oh, mutually beneficial, okay. So. Anyway. Uh, she was the only one who stood by me until Sammy arrived that time I had fainted. Shu, huh? Listen, when someone's as pure as you, it gets harder to pick up on someone's motives. It's best to keep your guard up. Right. And the culprit is likely an Aikashi Mori, and will likely be very suspicious if you suddenly stop working, Spacey. True. And Tokitsugu asked me to make sure she isn't alone when she's taking care of her responsibilities. I would ask the other sectors to do the same. So, whenever Spacey's on a round, someone needs to be by her side? Yes, please. And since there's nothing else to report, this concludes our meeting for today. I began to stand up when Yakumo's phone started to ring. Right time, so. Hey! Something just happened! The cursed bike and the Kasha just crashed and are backing up traffic like crazy! The cursed bike and the Kasha, okay. After Yakumo told us what was happening, I knew I had to help. We have to go right away. Wait, Spacey, you shouldn't go. Shiro and I can stay with you. You should stick to your rounds for now. What? I didn't understand why Coco didn't want me to go. See, that sounds more Coco. I don't know why doing Hira and then going to Coco made Coco sound like Hira. I don't know. Someone might be after you. Our puppy dog here might be too, too caught up with the crash to watch after you. Did he just call Yakumo a dog again? Well, whatever. I guess Coco and Shiratsuki do make a good point. Oh, you have a point there. Then I'll go alone. Spacey, go on your po patrol with Shiratsuki. Okay, got it. Be careful, okay? Yakumo. Why are you not giving orders to the Shirai of Makatsui who stands before you? What? I should order the Nobunaga himself? This is war. We do not know who our enemy is. How can I not be told to step forth? Akaro, put on your helmet and armor! <laughs> I like reading him slightly dramatic because I feel like that's the way he is. I will do no such thing. You could at least look out for me. I will not play war with you just because Shuten and Ibaragi aren't here to do it, all right? Akaro! I was only kidding. Yes, but now's not the time for jokes, or to even make everyone more anxious. Akaro, don't give him more attention! Okay, so I'm sure Yakumo could, should go tend to that emergency already. You're right. Sorry, I couldn't help it. It's no worries! Um, Hajun, will you be coming too? Haha, <laughs> of course! Let's go! <laughs> oh man, okay, well, we're heading out now. Hold down the fort while we're gone. We're on it! Spacey, I'll be sure to protect you. You can go on your rounds with me in confidence. Yeah, I'm here too. Nothing to worry about. Thanks, everyone. And thanks, Hira, Takao. I appreciate you coming today. No worries. It's what friends do. That's why we love Takao. I'm still extremely troubled by it. Will you shut up already? It's a lot of work. I'm not angry, though. Is that supposed to make this better? Hira! Takao seemed like he was enjoying this, along with Shiratsuki and Koko. Hira just means to say this will likely affect Amatsuna. He's just saying that he doesn't find it a burden to support you. Is that what he's saying? I didn't quite hear that, but these people know him much better than I do. Well, he's not correcting us, so I must be right. Get it? Does it make sense why Takao's so happy? Ah, oh, right. This is making me feel a bit lighter, too. Hiro and Takao took off shortly after, 
and I went on patrol with Shradsky and Coco. All right. We're still in chapter six. Shradsky's acting. We're going to start back up in this part at this point in the next part. And so I guess it will be a little bit longer than I was expecting because I wasn't expecting chapter six because the other ones went kind of fast and I wasn't expecting chapter six to be so long, but I'm happy about it because I don't want them to be like, someone's trying to attack me. Oh my God, it's this guy. Punch, punch. And he's gone and we're done. Like this is the finale route. It should be a little bit. I was expecting it to be at least as long as the other routes, but since it's a sh less chapters, I was like, oh, but it may be because it's the chapters are a little bit longer, but anyway, that's good. I kind of need it to drag out just a little bit, just a little bit. So we have some buffer time. <laughs> can, can a game that's going to go up after this anyway. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank you.